So now in this video, we're going to look at a uh, circuit here that's very similar to one I just saw by uh, somebody, I don't know how you pronounce it exactly, I think it's Bornach, but it's uh, B-O-R-N-A-C-H. So he does have a YouTube channel. I recommend checking it out. I actually saw it on Twitter. But in any case, he had a lot more going on in his circuit than uh, just this, but uh, here is uh, what I thought was interesting here was the LEDs lighting up like that. As I turn the trim pot, the voltage goes up, more LEDs light up. So he's referring to this more as a uh, lightsaber. So I'm just gonna go with more LEDs light up as voltage goes up. And uh, But you can see like a lightsaber there as it's being turned on, it uh, starts at one end and then it's at the other. It's lit up all the way along. And then when it turns off, it goes down from the uh, far end to the uh, near end, so uh, near is uh, near the trim pot there and far down there. And uh, so that's how you refer to it, but I'm just gonna do more LEDs light up as voltage goes up. And here is a schematic of the circuit that I just showed you. So I'm using a 10 kilo ohm trim pot. I forgot to write the value there. And so at this point, once it gets to about 0.6 volts, current will start flowing through the resistor, the base two emitter right there, and that LED will light up. Now, as we keep raising the voltage, sooner or later, we're gonna get up to uh, 1.2 volts. So that'll get 0.6 volts through that diode there, allowing a little bit of current to go. And then the other 0.6 volts for a total of 1.2 at the uh, trim pot, will go base two emitter. We'll have a small current flow there, and that LED will start lighting up. As more current flows through, the LED will light up more. At some point, hopefully, it turns on completely. But in any case, as we get closer to uh, 1.8 volts, we can go through that diode, that diode for 1.2 volts, and then the base two emitter diode for a total of 1.8, 0.6 more. It'll start lighting up, and then again, it'll repeat over there. So I'm gonna use 2N3904 transistors for all of those, and uh, each LED I'm gonna protect with a 220 ohm resistor in case we get the full five volts there. So now the uh, rectifier diodes I'm gonna use, they're glass, they're not the black plastic ones, the 1N4001 that I normally use just because I have a whole bunch more of these and uh, they're all the same height and everything. And uh, so I got a kit with a bunch of them, Joe Knows Electronics kit. So that's why I'm using it, doesn't matter though, uh, probably any rectifier diode as long as it has a 0.6 volts, if you want these same voltages, uh, should work just fine in this circuit. Building the circuit on the breadboard, pretty easy. Once you got a system laid out, we have a 10 kilo ohm resistor to the uh, middle pin of the uh, trim pot. You can see the end pins are to the power supply for five volts. Right now the trim pot is turned down to zero volts. So the uh, middle pin, 10 kilo ohm right there. Again, this is a 10K trim pot. I should have wrote 10K there, but forgot. It's coming from the middle pin to the base, the middle pin of the transistor. So both uh, middle pins in this case, 2N3904. So flat side to the right, that's the emitter down there, base in the middle, collector on top. The emitter is to ground because it's a switch circuit, even though it doesn't turn on fully when uh, the voltage is a little bit lower. Now we have the LED, short lead the cathode to the collector of the transistor, long lead the anode up one row, and then we got a 220 ohm resistor to the positive supply. So we just need to replicate that over and over. Uh, also we have to add the diode, so we'll get to that. But uh, emitter, so flat side to the right again, and then we're gonna add our diode. Actually I want the uh, diode on that side. Short lead the cathode to the collector, line lead the anode up one row, so I left a, a row between the transistors right there. I think that'll be easier to see. And then a 220 ohm resistor from the positive side to the long lead, the anode of the LED. Now, we're gonna grab a, a 10,000 ohm resistor, 10 kilo ohm, go across there. And we're gonna grab our uh, rectifier diode. So it's glass, but it's a rectifier diode. And we're gonna share that middle pin of the trim pot with the uh, resistor there. And then that's my body giving a false signal. That's why it turned on right there. And uh, so now we're gonna repeat that a couple more times. 
So there's the circuitry for the third one. Again, remember, the uh, diodes, just like the LEDs, have to be forward bias in this case. So this becomes more positive. There's uh, no uh, band there. That's the anode cathode down there. And uh, same with this one. Again, the screwdriver can give a false signal right there. So, uh, and the reason why we got a false signal just on that one is because no current can flow that way and uh, light up that one right there. But if I go there, current can flow that way. And it can flow that way to light up that one and that one. And we had the fourth one, just like the other ones. We could go longer if we want, but I think this is plenty uh, for now. There you can see we got them uh, lighting up based on how much voltage is. More LEDs, the higher the voltage gets. So, hope you enjoyed the uh, circuit. Make sure you check out one of the other videos and post into the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. If you can donate, please do. I have links down below. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps too. I appreciate that. I'll see you in the next video.